There are some bacteria that are really bad, bad actors, and they cause all kinds of problems. I wrote two books. They contain over 300 foods, and they all contain uh, ingredients and food ingredients that are actually good for... Did you know that your gut, also called the second brain, is home to trillions of bacteria that play a vital role in almost every aspect of your health? And when your gut health is off, it can lead to issues like inflammation, mood disorders, and even chronic diseases. According to Dr. William Lee, an internationally recognized medical doctor and researcher, our gut health influences everything our immunity, our mood, and even how well we age. Most of the bacteria that we will encounter in our lives are inside our body, not outside our body, and most of the bacteria are good, not bad. And that's what we call our gut microbiome. Our gut microbiome actually is an ecosystem of 39 trillion bacteria, most of it living inside our gut. And what they do inside our gut is they eat the food that our body doesn't digest. Let me explain. So you take a bite of an apple, all right? And our human bodies are gonna absorb the natural fructose, the sugars in the, uh, in the apple. We're gonna get the vitamins. We're actually gonna get some of the other nutrients that are gonna be absorbed into our body. But there's a lot of fiber that's going to be left over, right? You know, the skin that you eat is an organic apple. Um, the fiber uh, from, there's a lot of fiber in apple or pear. And then that fiber trickles down your 40 feet of intestines all the way to the cecum. And the bacteria there, you're feeding your bacteria. This leftover stuff, whatever we don't absorb goes to the bacteria. Your gut is home to trillions of bacteria and microorganisms known as the microbiome. This delicate ecosystem does more than just digest food. It communicates with your brain, strengthens your immune system, and even influences your mood and mental health. So when your gut is in trouble, it sends signals to the rest of your body sometimes in unexpected ways. Normal healthy fiber, our bacteria eats those, that fiber in payback for feeding them. They, the love that they, our bacteria show for us is they produce metabolites that are anti-inflammatory. These are called short chain fatty acids or SCAFAs and they lower inflammation, they promote healing, they uh, streamline our blood lipids, they make our insulin sensitivity better, which is an important part of uh, our metabolism. So the fuel is actually more rapidly absorbed into our bloodstream. You, nobody wants to have lots of glucose, lots of blood sugar at high levels all day long, and not good for our bodies, okay? It's like being stuck in a bathtub too long or a swimming pool too long. You know how your fingers wrinkle? That's not what you want. So you want your blood sugar to be readily absorbed into our cells. Okay, those are, these are just partially what we know our gut bacteria does for us. So we got to feed them well. Feeding them like three times a day is kind of like having a pet. Our bacteria, our microbiome is like a pet. If you have a dog, a cat, a parakeet, a goldfish, you know, most of us are responsible pet owners. So we make sure that we feed them our kibble or the flakes every single day or the seeds, right? Now, we, most of us will choose what kind of food we're actually feeding our pet. You don't want to feed your dog crap, right? You want to choose carefully. You want to take care of your animal. Well, that's basically what eating whole foods that are as good as possible, high quality whole foods, that's what we're feeding our gut microbiome, all right? Um, and, that, and they pay us back by giving us health through these short chain fatty acids. Poor gut health doesn't just lead to digestive problems. Dr. Lee emphasizes that gut issues can disrupt our immune system, lead to brain fog, increase inflammation, and even affect how we handle stress. So, protecting our gut isn't just about avoiding discomfort, it's crucial for our overall health. All right, let's talk about the foods that might be doing more harm than good. Dr. Lee advises being cautious with these common gut disruptors. Listen closely, some of these might surprise you. As importantly though, I think if there are things that we need to be cautious about in addition to antibiotics, I think the ultra-processed foods with a lot of food additives, food coloring, artificial preservatives, artificial flavorings, these are the sneaky things that most of us don't realize we're putting into our shopping carts, things that are starting to be discovered that could injure your gut microbiome. Processed foods. Processed foods are loaded with artificial ingredients, preservatives, and chemicals that can mess with our gut microbiome. They may be convenient but too much can lead to inflammation and imbalance in our gut bacteria. What about foods that are laden with synthetic chemicals, artificial preservatives, um, artificial sweeteners, by the way, is another big offender, all right? What happens is that we're feeding or we're eating it, oh, there's no calories in an artificial sweetener. 
uh, uh, oh, this uh, cheap shelf stable stuff uh, with artificial flavor tastes really great, goes down the gullet, um, we absorb relatively little because it doesn't have as many nutrients as a, a normal whole food. The rest of it, where does it go? We don't just poop it out. We're feeding our gut bacteria, that 39 trillion population, and we're feeding them crap. We're feeding them chemicals. We're feeding them things that they shouldn't be eating, okay? Imagine if you fed your pet dog, okay, really terrible quality food, chemical food all the time. I don't think your dog's going to last that long, okay? All the problems that your vet tells you that the dogs, you know, can have if you feed them poor quality food, that's what we're doing to our gut with all these artificial synthetic things. And so that's the reason why we need to take good care. You know, like this whole idea of um, the pregnant mom saying, I, I have to watch what I eat because I'm eating for two. Well, guess what? Each of us, we're eating for 39 trillion. In fact, we are feeding our gut microbiome and we have that responsibility. If we treat our gut microbiome well, they will treat our health well. Unfortunately, a lot of everyday foods work against us when it comes to gut health. First sugar and artificial sweeteners, sugar, high sugar diets are a big issue for gut health because sugar feeds harmful bacteria in the gut, like Clostridium and E. coli, which can throw off the balance of the microbiome. When these bacteria overpopulate, they can crowd out beneficial bacteria, which can lead to bloating, inflammation, and other digestive issues. Artificial sweeteners example aspartame, sucralose. While they may seem like a healthy alternative to sugar, Many artificial sweeteners disrupt the microbiome by promoting the growth of certain harmful bacteria, leading to imbalances that can weaken the gut lining. Research also shows that they can impair glucose metabolism, which may lead to insulin resistance over time. Second processed foods, high additives and preservatives, processed foods including packaged snacks, frozen meals and fast foods, contain preservatives, emulsifiers, and other additives to prolong shelf life and improve texture. Studies show these additives can harm the gut by stripping away the protective mucus lining in the intestines and disrupting the balance of gut bacteria. Refined oils and trans fats. Processed foods often contain low-quality oils, such as canola or soybean oil, that are high in omega-6 fatty acids. While some omega-6 is essential, excessive amounts can promote inflammation. Trans fats in particular often found in fast foods and baked goods are hard for the body to digest and can damage the gut lining. Low in fiber. Most processed foods lack fiber, which is essential for feeding healthy gut bacteria. Without adequate fiber, the gut's good bacteria begin to diminish, reducing the diversity needed for a healthy microbiome. Third red and processed meats are another challenge. In high amounts they can increase gut inflammation and foster harmful compounds linked to health issues. Meanwhile fried and fatty foods slow down digestion and can irritate the gut lining, leading to issues like bloating and discomfort. For some people, dairy and gluten can also be problematic. Many people have trouble digesting lactose, which can cause bloating, gas, and digestive discomfort. And for those sensitive to gluten, it can lead to gut irritation and even nutrient deficiencies. Finally, alcohol and spicy foods can disrupt the gut, leading to symptoms like acid reflux, bloating, and an imbalanced microbiome. Thankfully, there are plenty of delicious natural foods that can help repair and maintain a healthy gut. Here are Dr. Lai's top picks for gut healing foods. I wrote two books. They contain over 300 foods and they all contain uh, ingredients and food ingredients that are actually good for the gut microbiome. I'll tell you uh, things that I think that we, you might want to call out like, like pomegranates and elagitannins, uh, kiwis, pears are a great source of dietary fiber. First pomegranate. Did you know that pomegranates are a powerhouse for gut health? Packed with polyphenols, these antioxidants feed the beneficial bacteria in your gut microbiome, helping them flourish. Dr. William Lee explains that pomegranates act like a prebiotic essentially food for the good bacteria, which strengthens and balances your gut. When the beneficial bacteria are well fed, they help reduce inflammation, improve digestion, and even boost immunity. Adding pomegranate to your diet whether in whole fruit juice or as seeds sprinkled on salads is an easy way to support a healthier, happier gut microbiome. Pomegranates do something different to your gut microbiome because the, the ruby red seeds of pomegranate, which, you know, are used to make juice, are contain something called elagitannins. These are natural chemicals. They're so beautiful and they taste great. I mean, you can put them into a salad. There's lots of different ways you can, you can do them. But when you juice them, one of the things that is wonderful is to be able to press the juice through the skin. And, and because there's elagitannins in the skin as well, so you get a lot more. You get like the, the knockout punch 
of these elijah tannins when you juice with the skin now what does that do those elijah tannins in your body when you drink it they for, well first of all they're also cancer starving they're also antioxidant they also lower inflammation but one of the great things about they do is they stimulate your gut to secrete healthy mucus and, and that's normal it sounds a little gross but actually our, our gut likes to stimulate at least likes to make mucus and the bacteria love to grow in the mucus the bacteria growing in mucus in our gut is like flowers growing in a flower bed that's been properly fertilized they they sprout they bloom they really they, they look great and that's basically what um pomegranate juice actually does in our gut it helps these bacteria grow really well one of the bacteria grows really well is called acromasia acromasia mucinophila mucin like like mucus and that bacteria is a guardian of our health it helps our immune system it helps us fight cancer it actually um, it even appears to be able to help uh, kind of make blood sugars good to be able to help control and prevent diabetes. And so that's a function that a uh, simple juice that's delicious to drink and easy to make like pomegranate juice is so valuable. Second kiwi. Kiwi is a powerhouse for gut health and one of the best foods to support a healthy microbiome. This tiny fruit is packed with fiber, particularly a type called soluble fiber which acts as a prebiotic. Prebiotics feed the good bacteria in our gut, helping them thrive and maintain balance. But kiwi goes even further. It contains unique enzymes, like actinidin, that aid in digestion by breaking down proteins and easing the digestive process. Studies have shown that regularly eating kiwi can relieve constipation and promote regularity, making it a fantastic choice for smooth digestion. Plus, kiwi is loaded with antioxidants and vitamin C, which reduce inflammation in the gut and help protect the gut lining. So adding kiwi to your daily diet is a simple way to keep your gut bacteria happy, your digestion smooth, and your whole system healthier. Third, pears. The reason pears are so great are the fact that they've got chlorogenic acid, which is a bioactive, also found in apples, uh, that can actually activate your metabolism and help you burn down harmful body fat. And chlorogenic acid is also anti-angiogenic, meaning it actually stops blood vessels from growing to tumors. Pretty cool. One of the things that I love about pears is that it's got a lot of dietary fiber. So an average pear has got about five or six grams of dietary fiber per pear. And a study from MD Anderson showed that just having that amount of dietary fiber can lower the risk of tumor progression or death by about 30% in one study where they looked at people with melanoma on immunotherapy. And so here is actually a, a food that can actually make medical treatments work better. Dietary fiber, pear, one of my favorite. Pears are an amazing fruit for gut health. And here's why. Packed with dietary fiber, pears support a healthy gut microbiome by feeding the good bacteria in your digestive system. Just one pear provides about six grams of fiber, including both soluble and insoluble types, which work together to keep things moving smoothly in your digestive tract. I really tell people that the wisdom of the Mediterranean diet or the Asian diet it's pretty much on track. So if you can find something healthy that you like that you would cook yourself um, with whole foods along those genres, you're probably getting something that's good for your gut. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more health tips, and share this with someone who needs to give their gut a little extra love. Let us know in the comments what gut healing food will you add to your diet.